Hello friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you are doing good. Happy to learn together. So in this video, I am going to continue the previous uh, screen design concept here as well. And today we are going to see some more simple screen element, same like label, text and button. And then a uh, little ahead, we are going to see the complex screen element. Complex screen element is nothing but nested screen elements. So to display a screen element, you need minimum of two or three screen elements together. Then only you are able to see the, the full output of the screen element. So simple example is combo box. So combo box need uh, more than one screen element. Uh, the reason behind is to design, to display the combo box, one screen element is enough. But to add a data, you need one more screen element. Okay, so so far we have seen label input that doesn't require more than one screen element, just a one screen element. Label is enough to display the label. Input is enough to display the uh, input boxes with with their with its own properties. Okay, what is the length? What is the width on it? And is it mandatory or not? So those things we have added. Those are considered as simple screen elements. So whenever there is one more layer is required to display the screen element, we consider that as complex screen element. But basically, it's very simple. Okay, so don't worry about it. So today we are going to see few more uh, simple screen elements. Probably we have used in SAP or something is especially for the UI level. And we are going to step into complex how to des design a complex screen element. Okay, so let's get into the slides first. And uh, once you go with different screen elements, different level of screen elements, obviously your library also getting changed. So whenever you start learning a new screen element, make sure it's coming under which library. That will be very easy for the future reference. Okay. So here we are going to see uh, some more simple screen elements. One is image. So image is, it's, we have used in our web uh, development also. I want to display an image. So here, um there are options so here the option i have used is importing my image into my project ufa project in the web ide and then using it in my image screen element so there are an option so you just mentioned slash image name and what is the extension on it if it is open to the project Suppose the image is inside the folder of your project, then you have to mention the folder as well. Okay, so let's get let's see this once you start working on it. And here I used very minimal or default uh, properties of the screen element. Here I used only two SRC and tooltip. But as I showed you, if you have one screen element, you have a lot of properties. Okay, so just just go through it, play around, and you just come to know what is the use of those properties. Or once the business need comes, maybe we can start looking into that. What are the other properties which may uh, give a solution for the business requirement? Okay, and then link is very simple. I want if the user clicks the link, it has to go to the proper uh, web address. So for that, I am using the two properties here, text and href, very basic properties. And I used an additional property called target. Target is nothing but this link is open to be opened in the new window, not in the same page to be the new page. Then you have to use a property called target and it should be underscore blank. Okay. And these are simple screen elements. So that can be closed directly like this, or you have to use this one also to close it. Okay. So these are the other another simple screen elements and then switch the next one is switch so switch is nothing but on and off button i can say so on and off button uh, so what would be the text on it maybe you, you can have any text true or false okay if the switch is on what is the text the switch is off what is the text and what is the default one so default one is true or false okay so that is nothing but a switch and you can add whatever you want. Simply I'm adding a Bahman UI file. And then rating indicator, you know about the rating indi indicator. It displays the star, how many rating you want to give. So the value of three is nothing but the default. It displays always three stars. If you want, you can just change it. And maximum, it displays how many stars to be displayed. It's five, only five stars to be displayed. And one more property I have used is icon hover over here. And then slider, you know about the slider, it's kind of like drag and drop kind of property. So the value is again two. So by default, it shows it's slider to the second position. And the maximum I given here is six. 
and with this 100 percent edge okay so these are very uh, basic proper basic um, simple screen elements uh, which we are going to see on the today's session so let's i will show you this first then we'll go then we'll come back to the slides and see how the complex screen elements looks like okay let's log into our system okay so this is the previous one which we have uh, developed with label input box button and then it's it's icon sap we just took it from sap icon option so switch we have used it probably we didn't use the name proper name we can use that one now and this is the date picker and these are the checkbox different checkboxes so now uh, we're going to okay, as we have used a switch maybe we have to use the option called on custom text right text on so if it is on what do you want to do so i'm just going to and if you see custom text off okay save it come here a refresh so like this so on and off okay so this is called switch. So now we are going to see, um, excuse me, some more options. So let better I just create one new project template. UIFI next uh, UIFI screen two. One minute. GI screen one. Okay, I want to just maintain the same one. So here it is UIFI application. I don't want to use template here because I'm just doing only the screen level design. So screen two. Okay, next. That's it. Finish. It opens here. And this is my first project. This is my second project. So here we have and open a view double click so it's same name if you need some confusions you can close the existing one or let it be okay and inside the content we are going to add whatever is required so first one is image so if you want to image the image to be added in your project level first so what i want to do is right click here and import any file from the system so if you do in the project level it's going to be added here Okay, so I'm going to add here and then if you want to create inside a folder that also I'll show you how to do that. So imports file from a system. I created one just simple uh, image just select it open and still you have an option to select any folder if you want. So here I, I used to add it into your project directly. So it's added to the project directly. So once you come it, it shows here image one dot png normally it shows the data i'm not sure why it's not coming over here it shows the uh, image or in the new tab also once you imported it okay so here if you go image so image is also coming in a which library it's a sap.m because we are not using any allies over here so that is also coming under sap.m library so source is going to be slash and just give the name image one dot png it's case sensitive so here image is i caps so the same thing here so i'm not um, using much okay i close like this save it and run it so this is gi acr2 yeah here it is so it just showed the image suppose if you are moving this to any of the folder i want to create a folder so web app i want to create new folder especially for images okay then okay can i do this cut it and right 
here paste it okay so i just moved inside the image folder so now if you go and refresh definitely it the image is, is gone yes because it just moved to other folder so you have to mention the folder name here images save it go here refresh it's appeared okay so now the same thing i'm going to do it for link so link also as sab.m so link and you have to give the text um, open sap help help okay and then you have to give href equals let me copy the uh, link of that on demand.com and close it save it and go here refresh so you'll get it and just click it opens in the same page okay so now if you want this to be open in the in the new one so you have to add one more property called target so now in the same way we are going to learn most of the things um, in the ui file so how it depends on the requirement we are going to get it okay same like a bab so uh, depends on that we need to find many things in internal table depends on the requirement same thing once the requirement comes we are going to learn it more in the ui file as well so blank target is done and here go back refresh it just click so it opens in the new window so this is my screen and this is the one which it's opened okay so this is for link so switch we have already seen and what else i have noted over there simple one okay slider okay rating indicator let's do that rating indicate okay and so one of the property is value so value i can say three by default and another value is max value so max value is go with seven okay. that's it save it and go here if i refresh so you will get it so you can able to select also so what needs to be done after select that will take later because we didn't start learning about the event or even handler so we are just still in the place of how to design a screen with the with the help of different screen elements okay and the final one, final simple screen element which we are going to see today is slider. Slider value, I'm going to say two. And then width equal to 100%. I can say min as zero and max as 10. Close the slider. Save it. Oops, come on. It used to happen the rental systems. Okay, so here the final one is slider. Value as two and here min as zero max you can give five and is with the width as hundred percentage and close the tag save it go here if I Save it. Yeah. 
So it comes, uh, if it is not reached, maybe you can close and uh, again run it from your program. So here it shows default value as 2 and you can move it over here or you want to move it here. So now the value is 4. Okay. So this way we can use the slider event or slider screen element. Okay. So these are very simple screen element we have seen. So now we are going to start looking at the little complex ones. Okay. Let's get into the slide now. Table or complex screen elements, we are going to use different libraries. Okay. So far, we have used a single line or single screen element with the help of the properties like type, text, value, and enable the screen element or screen, um, what do you call it? A screen element. Yeah, screen element in the UI screen. Okay, example is input and then uh, buttons or you know, labels, whatever it is. So now we need a hierarchy or we need a, a nested a layer to display one screen element along with its value in the UI screen. For example, combo box or a list box. So to display the property, to display the screen element, one single property or one single screen element is enough. So screen element is nothing but combo box. Uh, screen element is nothing but select for list box. So if we open combo box and close combo box without anything, it will display it. But what is the value? So how you populate a value? So populate a value or uh, maybe uh, two different areas, right? Maybe from a backend system or a hard coded value. So whatever it is, we need a property to display the value of the screen element. So those kind of screen element we consider as complex screen element. So screen elements required its own property, additional property to display the value or to, to associate a value for the particular screen component. Okay, so I have a screen component. So I'm going to introduce a property of the screen component, component, whatever it is, screen element, particular screen element, I'm going to introduce a property. And inside you can have, not you can have, there may be an option or there may be a, a necessity to use one more screen element to display the values. Okay, so this property is going to connect with the data. So how the data is going to come? So the data is always come from the backend. So that is going. This property helps to connect from your Odata servers, and this is good. This element is going to help to display the values. For example, if it is a combo box, could be the properties needs ID and the value. Okay, so like that. So that is going to use in the screen element too. So there may be a hierarchy depends on the screen element. So you may have one, two, three, four, five also. But this is the base. So screen element requires its property and then inside that you may have one more screen element to help to display the values. Okay. So technically we call it as aggregation property of the screen element. So whatever screen element you're using, what is the aggregation property of it? So then now and then you have to use the screen element too and you have to close properly. Okay. And the question is, so far we have used label and type uh, buttons they doesn't have a screen they doesn't have an aggregation property definitely they do have an aggregation property okay but that is not default so meaning default in the sense that helps to add a data if there is no default aggregation property you don't want you don't worry about it okay so i will show you the aggregation property of the label and i will show you the aggregation property of the combo box also okay Let's finish the slide, then we'll go to the saphelp.com and then come to the system. So a few examples over here. Um, what I'm going to do was so select one minute. There's a change. So, yeah, this is the right one. So screen one property and screen element two. So the example which I'm going to show you here is list box. So for the list box, the initial property is select. Okay. And I use, uh, if you use only select and n select, what happens is it will display the list box, but there is no value on it. And um, this is actually this screen element has an internal screen elements or internal property. So you cannot close using the previous one slash and close intact. How you close a simple screen element that you're not able to do it. You have to close like this. it's a block open and close tag like this only. Okay. So inside a select, I'm going to use a uh, aggregation property of a select is items. 
So items is the one which which is going to uh, receive the or which which is going to define the O data server. So from where you are going to get the data. Okay. And the final one is another screen element which I'm going to use item. Okay. So here you can see items, small i, item, capital I. Okay. And you have to close it. So here if you see these are coming from different libraries. Selectors coming from SAPM and this LO aggregation is coming from uicore.item and item this screen element is coming from ui.core okay so you going forward you are going to deal with multiple libraries always keep in touch it's coming from which library that is useful for future reference to add the property depends on your business need okay so this is the entire code for list box okay so one screen element is not nf and if it is a hard coded value so this item this block is going to add the values this is going to add from where the values are coming so this now if it is a um, hard coded values you can ignore this ignore in the sense you need you need this block but you know i'm not going to add any values here because i'm not going to take anything from the back end this is coming from the hard coded value so i'm going to repeat this block for each record suppose i need five values in my list box i have to repeat this block for five times okay so this can be a, a final screen element this can be a simple so you have to close with slash close tag also but these two has to be closed in this manner only so this is an example for list box and few more examples combo box you have an option called combo box screen element it's a class and property aggregation property of the combo box is items and one more screen screen element i'm going to use called item okay and one more is multi combo box multi combo box is the same manner same aggregation properties but uh, the screen element name is same is multi combo box and you have items and item and you have multi input same thing multi input aggregation property is suggestion items i believe i use capital i will confirm it okay so suggestion item and then you have to use item so these los are going to be uh, um, just mention define what is your backend uh, auditor service from where you are getting the data and this color this blue whatever it is is going to be um, helping to adding the exact data in your ui element okay so this is the way the complex screen elements are looks like so now we'll get into the sap.com and see the aggregation property of the complex screen element as well as the simple screen element then we'll go to the system and design this okay anything else no nothing so let's start with our ondemand.com so here i'm going to show you um the select first how it's look like so select is for list box so i just added over here select it's coming under uh, user input just a select it's a class over here just select this and very uh, basic one um screen element we are going to see so this is a screen element okay so now i want to see the api reference of this means i want to see the property aggregations and everything right so go here and here you can see overview constructors properties and everything aggregations so if you see aggregation they mention one aggregation name and they mention it's a default one so this aggregation property defines the data source so from where we are getting the data or not okay one more is if you want the item if you want the items with the icons you have to use the aggregation as list item uh, aggregation property for a different purpose okay so this is additional information now if you see the label whether label doesn't have aggregation property yes label also does so if we go to label go to aggregation property so still you have you can see the aggregation property of the label but nothing is mentioned as default okay so just for so for your reference so still aggregation property is applicable for simple screen element also but it is not compulsory to use it to uh, populate the value of the property okay so now now you have a little idea on it so now i'll go back to select samples select now we can see the code over there so they have some values over here right now go to this place 
and you can see here select is the property for selection selection key whatever it is we are not going to use it because we are going to just display the uh, list box along with some hard coded values so here items they mention clearly this is coming from an entity set okay so this is coming from basically from the auditor servers okay so if it is not then this is this area is not going to be defined anywhere if it is a hard coded you just open and close it you don't want to do anything okay and this is uh, a this item aggregation property defines the data source and the item is coming from a different uh, library core library item is a screen element which helps to display the values okay this is defines only the data source this helps to define if it is a is a list box normally two uh, properties are mandatory one is key one is text once the user select what is the value of it right then you have to um, add it over here so these are um, what you call coming from backend so only one line is enough if it is a hard coded value you have to repeat this line for how many hard coded values you need okay so this is for select and if you see for combo box here combo box so the difference between select and combo boxes so combo box you can enter the values means it accept whatever value you enter it accept but list box is not you have to select from the list that is a minor difference between list box and combo in ui5 and go here you can see combo box is the screen element items is the segregation property they used uh, with I mean, within the combo box that is also you can do it or you can close the combo box like you can close it and after that also you can use it i will show you in the system okay items defines the data source and this line defines what are the lines you need okay if it is a data source it's act as a loop how many record comes if 10 record comes it will add all the 10 dynamically okay it's, it, <coughs> if it's a constant you have to repeat this manually so this is for combo box whatever i am showed today uh, multiple combo box or multi input multi input here so multi input means you, you can able to add more than one values in the input box and the multi input is here multi inputs and suggestion item so i mentioned right i is a capital I, that that is my, my mistake so i should be a capital and this is aggregation property of multi input then this is the line which added the values to your screen element okay so hope you might have some idea uh, we'll get into the system now so here i'm going to use select done okay so let's see how it uh, look like in the screen yes so this is nf to display the screen element but we need aggregation property we need one more screen element which helps to add a data over here okay so for that go here i need items so this is aggregation property and currently I'm, it's going to be a hard coded one so i'm not going to uh, disturb anything over here then i need a item that is coming from core so i need excellent one more library to be added um with the allies name so core normally they use core i go with c that's what i you can give whatever name you want okay so sap dot ui dot core yeah i think it should good or core or core item let's let's check uh, c yeah item sb dot core okay okay so item and what do you need here key so key as i can say um t1 so i'm going to give a material type so text us ERT and I can close this is a simple screen element I can close it here and this to be repeated because it's a hard coded value as of now so if it is um, auditor service we can just mention the auditor service field name that takes care Z Ra and then so one more like YT something save it so properly closed select 
is closed and aggregation property closed and each item closed save it go here refresh so it's coming so this is for select is nothing but list box so same thing i'm going to add for combo <coughs> I'm sorry, uh, this need to be closed here and then here it is. So it's combo box. Same like select if you see if you add only combo box, go here. If I yes, still you have a, a screen element but doesn't have a value because we didn't add any aggregation one. So I'm just copy pasting it, just uh, saving your time. So combo box, oops, to be closed and sorry, okay, so additional is here, delete and take this out, come on. Combo box, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I just copy paste it so you'll get the same uh, output, nothing different. So you can add it, you can just change it in your practice. Refresh it. Okay, it's not coming up. Combo box, items, items closed. Okay, I add, no, it's not added. Select, select is done. Combo box, items item items and combo box is because of the key because key should be four five and six key five and six let's see here yeah, could be the reason okay so here also we'll get it so the difference is these two is you're not type it here i'm trying to type no but here you're able to type it so that is a bit of difference between list and combo box. The next one is multi combo box. The so same way you can try your own. Let me do it quickly. Multi combo box done. So multi combo box is a combination of uh, input and combo box and list box. I can say so that is the multi combo box screen element uh, property like uh, eight. Eight, nine, eight. Okay, let's see how it's displayed. So here, if I, okay. So here you can you can just uh, multi combo box, right? So I can say uh, F E R T. Yes, you can select. And uh, next one is zero, right? You can select. Next is Y I given yes. So this is the multi combo box. So it's a kind of input bo input as well as the uh, list box combination of both. That is a multi combo box. So the remaining is multi input. The similar way you can try your own about the multi input. Then you come to know how the complex screen elements are uh, working here. Okay. So uh, probably now once you understand the screen elements, very simple to connect the, your data source and get the value from there and display it here okay so hope this session might be useful for you just go through it and if you have any doubt please let me know thank you so much for your time see you in the next video bye